Welcome to ELD Gallery, a channel for learning language, language learning technology and linguistics. Now we are still working on a series of videos on English speech sounds or VESS. In this video, I'm going to talk about tens and legs. Now let's start. Well, if we have vowels in English, vowels can be tens or legs. Now let's uh, study what they are. In this video, I'm going to answer three questions. The first question is, what is a tens and legs vowel? The second question is, how are they produced? How a tens vowel and a legs vowel are produced? And then the third question is, what are the English tens and legs vowels? Let's continue. Well, in English, we can classify or identify or describe a vowel according to the part of the tongue which moves or tongue part. In that case, we have the front vowel. These are the front vowels, central vowel and back vowels. And then according to the height of the tongue, we have the uh, high vowels, E, I, U, and U. And then we have mid vowels. We have six mid vowels in English. And we have low vowels. We have A, R, and R. Now, what is a tense and legs vowels? Let's start with the vowel charge. We have the vowel charge over here. And then what is a tense vowel? Well, well, tense vowels are vowels which are produced with greater muscular effort. So we have uh, greater muscular effort, the jaw muscles and also the tongue muscles. And then uh, because of that, then the vowels are pronounced longer than legs vowels. So tense vowels are produced with greater muscular effort. The muscles are more tense, the, uh, the muscles of the jaw muscles and the uh, tongue muscles are more tense. And as a result, the vowels are longer than the legs vowels. On the contrary, the legs vowels are produced without much muscular effort. And we only have shorter vowel. In this charge, we have only uh, three tense vowels. The first is E, the second is U, and the third is R, like in park, heart. Here, uh, well, uh, we have the red over here. Well, this is, this, uh, this is a symbol for tense vowel OR in some uh, in uh, in some linguistic books but in other linguistic books the symbol for the tense vowels is the diphthongize we have not just o but o uh, we'll see that uh, later okay we have the english vowels and the tense vowels are now we have the tense vowels the e like in meet receive and meter uh, u like in root pool prudent. And then we have lex vowels. These are, uh, we have more lex vowels. We have hit, happy, pity from the vowel A. And then we have from the vowel, uh, and then the second lex vowel is A, like in head, then vestival. And then we have a, uh, cat, manner, contact. And then we have R like in part, hard, and harmer. Well, for A and R, for some linguists, they say they say that A and R are either legs or tense. They are neutral. So, but I just put them in here. And then we have R like in lock, cupboard, and butter. And then we have a uh, like in boot, purse, and permit. We have uh, U like in put, fool, and look. And then we have all like in pot, sock, and mop. English diphthongs are mostly tense. 
we have a mail take say i tile supply finance boy you have boy toil moisture we have uh, o here so call pause report and then we have our again house about shout and then we have o like in home load coach and grow now how are the english vowels and diphthongs are written uh, different languages or different books have probably different ways of writing english vowels and diphthongs we have the tense vowels sometimes it's written with e like this sometimes with e with colon like in c and b e and then we have e like capital letter e and then e like this so the difference between the tense e and the lex e is that for the tense e we have the colon and then we have a like in uh, sometimes it's written with a like this like lead and hat and then a which is tense is written with a like here a fail bake fail bake so a, it's a here so in the tense a here is written just with the a and in the uh, sorry the lex a here is written with a just a and then the tense a is written with a and then we have uh, a cat manner and contact there is only one single way of writing a here and the same case with oh uh, you have r here r sometimes it's written with r with a colon park and heart and then we have or lock lock doctor and problem this is what the uh, tense or and then we have u which is uh, this is a tense u it's written with uh, u with a colon root pool and prudent and the lex vowels we have u here this is lex u with the like this and it's written with an u without colon put pool and look and then we have lock. We only have one way of writing the a uh sound here, and this is a symbol for a uh, lock, cupboard, butter. And then we have a. Uh, this is only a uh, uh here, but in some other books, a uh here is written with a colon, uh, like like this one, a uh, with a colon. And then the a uh with a colon is used for uh, the sound like in a uh, go or along or about. The first sound in a go along about the difference is that in you have boot, purse, and permit. You have uh, you have the uh, tense jaw muscles, or whereas if you have uh, about along, you don't have the tense jaw muscles. But uh, those are often considered as just variants. They are not different phonemes, and therefore the listed phonemes or lex phonemes is this one. Sorry, this yeah, this is Lex uh, here. And then English diphthongs, these are male. Uh, we have A here. Sometimes it's written with uh, Y, just like in the previous. And then I, tile, supply, finance. So instead of writing with uh, E, it's more letter. I with capital letter is often used. Or I with Y is often used. I, tile. And then boy. Uh, toil and moisture. Uh, so, or with O here, this is a tense O. And then you have O, uh, o like house, about, shouts. And then we have hope, load, coach, and crew for this power. I mean, uh, for this diphthong. Well, that's all about hands and legs vowels thank you well in the next video we are going to talk about phonemic transcription well thank you very much see you in the next video